Now, this might just be my favorite whistle I have. Even is it either this one or, or the one I have by Clover Flutes. This one is a Michael Berkey. Uh, I bought here in Japan uh, in an amazing store for Irish music uh, called Set No Flu or something like that. Um, anyways, it's owned by a famous guy in the whistle community called Hatao. Uh, and he sometimes is in the store, at least in the Tokyo store, tending it, and he actually sold me this whistle. It's uh, Michael Berkey. Anyway, one of my favorites, and he's an amazing flutist. But here I go with some tunes I, I'm gonna show you because I really love this whistle, and there are not many videos showing the Michael Berkey, at least not the high D. This is a white bore or a session bore. Uh, brass high D because high D whistles from Michael Berkey come in brass or in aluminum. Brass is sweeter and there's a smaller bore and the wider bore. This is the wide bore, uh, so the session high D brass. The wide bore is called the session model, and you can also get it with a back hole for the natural the C natural, but I really don't like that. Uh, I, I can do the seat natural with cross fingering and that's okay for me. And anyways, amazing whistle, not so many videos out there of it. And I'm just going to showcase a bit of what it's capable of doing and why I love it so much. It's so fun to play though. So I should shut up and just play. I forgot to warm it up before I played, but still it managed perfectly. So I'm just going to warm it up a bit more and show you. Um, I don't know, maybe some uh, the pentatonic on the D major scale blues. I don't know. It's better with a backing track, but it still was okay. Just another tune, and that will be it for the showcase of the, this amazing whistle. Uh, it's around $270, which is very expensive for a high D whistle. Um, in I tried so many other whistles in the in Hatao store in Selno Flu, and this was my favorite. The only one which I would have rather gotten was a bit more, even more expensive, uh, and I wouldn't have spent that much. And it was a wood whistle made by John Sint, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Maybe it wasn't uh, John Sint. I don't know. I think it was. It was an amazing whistle, but the thing is, wood is high maintenance, and it's also more fragile of a material, and it's more expensive. But of all the whistles I tried, and I tried like, uh, Chieftain uh, and carry whistles like the Bosker I tried, I tried the Susatos, which I had, I, I really like Susatos, but I tried every whistle you could, I mean, at least any main uh, brand of whistles like Alexander Karabaev, I think it's the Nightingale's whistles, I tried all of them and the high D, this was definitely my favorite and it was a big difference, so in my opinion, I wasn't expecting to spend that much on a Heidi whistle 
I actually ended up spending double of what I was planning just because I really found this whistle so compelling. It has uh, so much richness I've never had in a in a high D whistle. So, anyways, I don't know if it's noticeable on video, but it's really it's really good, especially once you get to play it. It's so amazing. Only have good things about to say uh, to say about this whistle. So, anyways, uh, here is the Monaghan jig. The way I play, I'm not uh, actually. I don't think I play it the correct way, but I play it a way I like it. Anyways. whistle another tune just because I really love it uh, contentment is wealth I really don't I, I really can't play this one but I hope it's good enough for the video just to showcase this this whistle and that one I really love Michael Borky, Heidi, seal of approval.